Hey, in today's video we are going to install Octopress locally in Windows operating system. I'm using Windows 8, so let's get started. First of all, we're going to Octopress setup and the first thing we need to do is we install a kit. In this video I'm going to use um, Chocolatey, so it's kind of like homebrew and it's um, it makes uh, things easier if you want to install stuff in Common Prom. Next step is we go to uh, Common Prom, so search, and then here type in CMD and it should show CMD common prompt and right click it and click on run as administrator. Now that we have our common prompt open, I'm going to uh, change the font. I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. So the next step is we're going to install Chocolatey from there. So we're going to copy. Basically, you can read the documentation and click copy that. Click this icon and it means copying. And here we're going to go to uh, F directory. In your case, maybe you have C because I have uh, this computer on dual boot, that's why I have F and not C. In yours, most of cases is C. So I'm going to go to that directory, so CD and then backslash and that bring me to my F directory. Remember, yours should be C directory if you don't dual booting your computer. And then paste that code here and hit enter. So once we're done with installing Socolady, uh, we should see Socolady folder if we go to our our directory, so operating system directory, which is my, my case in F and you should be in C. So I'm going to F and you should see Socolady um, folder over there. And the next is we're going to install kit from here. So we're going to type in Choco and install kit or we're going to type in the shortcut like C and then inst and then kit and hit enter. And this will install in kit for us. So now that we're done with uh, installing kit point, uh, version 1.9.0, we're going to type in kit and then and dash dash version and it's saying that now so kit is not recognized and stuff like this. Don't worry about that. We're going to exit our command prompt and then open it again. CMD and then going to right click it, run as admin trust again. And here we're going to type in kit and then um, dash dash version. And we should see now that we have kit version 1.9.0. So the next step is we're going to uh, go to Octopress website and here we should install Ruby 1.9.3 because uh, we use Windows so we're going to install it from uh, Ruby installer.org from here and we're going to download and as you can see here you can read that we should uh, install Ruby 0.1.9.3 click that to download so now that we've done downloaded, we go to our download folder and here it is, we're going to install it. And hit finish and close it and look for our uh, TMD again. Right click it and run an administrator. And now we're going to type in uh, git first, git dash dash version. And we should see our kit and we're typing on Ruby dash version. And Ruby now is not recognized. To solve this, we're going to go to our file manager again and look for uh, where we have Ruby. So in your case on C, keep on mine. Mine is on F. So I'm going to hit Ruby 19.3 and we could 
to uh, inside and on in, in dot in pin directory or pin folder we see on Ruby application. We're going to right click it and properties and copy this copy and hit cancel and then the next we're going to right click this PC and properties and art fun system setting and here we're going to add fun step and environment variables and here we're going to path and edit it and as you can see now we can add our path here so paste it make sure that you paste it after the smile colon and here we add smile colon and hit ok and hit ok and hit ok and close this and next is we go to I guess I have fit both open so I'm going to exit all my common prompt and exit it again and then CMD again and right click it and here go type in on git and then dash dash version we should see our git and our ruby dash dash version and we should see our ruby is um, recognized so the next step is we're going to install ruby development development uh, kit so here you have development kit ruby development kit you can install it from here or you can install it so which one it is so there it is or you can install it with your chocolatey because we have chocolatey uh, open so next is we go into um, cd to type in cd and then backslash and here we're going to type in uh, soco and then install or since um, ruby and then dot dev kit and hit enter So once we're done uh, installing Ruby development uh, kit, you should see this kind of message. message. So, and now that we've done it, uh, next is we're going to in, uh, clone Octopress is in our uh, computer. So let's type on CD um, dir, sorry, and let's see, uh, you see that our development kit is um, installed in dev kit folder. So we go to our file manager again and go to F or in your case C, you should see dev kit folder. So uh, next is we're going to clone our Octopress. So going to the directory in my users and documents. So here, as you can see, I have users. So I'm going to type in uh, CD and then users and then dir to list the user, my username. As you can see, my username is in Kim. So I'm going to type in CD and Kim and then uh, inside my username should have documents folder downloads and so forth i'm going to install it inside documents folder and um, like something like this i'm going to hit enter and i'm on my documents folder here i'm going to clone octopress so go back here and go to octopress set up octopress to clone it copy and then paste it here Notice that uh, you can change the Octopress folder as any folder you like. Uh, in case this, uh, I'm going to rename it as 
something that I can easily remember. So I'm going to name it blog web6 octopress. Right, and then hit enter. And this will clone octopress files to my uh, folder inside documents which is called blog web6 octopress. The next is we're going to go to uh, our octopress folder, in my case blog web6 octopress. So I'm going to type in cd and then blog web6 octopress and hit enter. And I'm inside there and then I'm going to type in uh, gem install bundler to install dependencies. So gem and then install bundler and hit enter. So now that we've done um, installing the dependencies by typing gem install bundler, next is we're going to install a bundle install that we need to get the gem dependencies correctly installed. So go to uh, type in bundle, so this one, bundle install. So we, sh we don't type in rpn feed we have because we don't use it. So we're going to type in bundle and then install. Hit enter. So once we're done with installing bundle, we go uh, back to our uh, Octopress setup page and you know that um, we should install Octopress theme by uh, typing rake and then install. So we do that. So rake and then install. Hit enter. And it should installing the default theme which is classic themes for us. And now we're going to type in um, rake and then generate and then end signs two time if I see my end signs and then rate uh, preview to preview our site so hit enter and if everything goes well it should uh, show you something like this so to stop the preview we're going to hit ctrl c but we don't want that we want now to view our site which is on port 4000 we go back to our chrome or any browsers you need you have now and then i'm going to type in localhost and then it's my colon and um 4000 and hit enter and you should see that now we uh, have our octopus block there which doesn't have any posts so let's create any post so control copy to um, to stop this preview I think I haven't done it so control C to stop it and then go to create new post right and as always you can go back to your go back to octopus setup and documentation and click on start blogging with Octopress to see what kind of um, syntax you need and you, as you can see we can now rake new posts and typing the title so rake and then new post underscore post and then square brackets and no space and between square brackets you have double quotes 
and between double quotes you can type your title I'm going to type in hello world um, post number one so and then hit enter and it should generate a new post inside source and underscore post directory we go if we go now to our file to our file manager and to my username which is users and my username and go to documents and plot web 6 ultrapass folder you should see public and then I mean sorry not public source and then underscore post and here as you can see we have hello world post number one markdown just exactly the post that we've just created and now we're going to type in auto rate preview rec generate and and rec preview by uh, clicking or pressing your arrow key in your keyboard it will bring you to the uh, one step further on your comment prompt and then hit enter so now if we go back to our octopus block again and we refresh it we have hello world post number one and now uh, how we uh, edit our post in Windows it's easy so hit ctrl C to stop it I guess I done hit ctrl C if it doesn't work then hit ctrl C again and now we're going to type in notepad and then the post that we just created so here it is and select all I don't know how you do that in common prompt and then copy that this mean already copy if you select it and paste it here and then hit enter and this will open notepad uh, for you and then categories let's say uh, intro and then uh, the, the content hello YouTube thanks for watching and then hit save file and save and close notepad and then pressing your arrow key again to rec generate and rec preview and it will generate for you and preview it so now that we've done we go back to our blog again and hit in um, refresh and now you as you can see we have now content of this post which is called hello youtube and thanks for watching and yeah basically that's it for now installing in local uh, machine to try and to play around with octopress so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video goodbye